All right. Okay. We have two to the fourth power plus 19. So not two times four. We have two times two times two times two plus 19. Don't mind my makeshift. Stay up. <laughs> you should be working it out. Aw, it didn't work. Should be working it out, peeps. I'm going to give you about two wish minutes because it's, it's a little bit harder when it's the fourth power. They weren't there, so I didn't know what else. And like, obviously, I didn't get up and make another photo. So, what? I can see it the right way though, because my screen also looks backwards to me, but then it's right. It's weird how it works. It's just weird. Change the name of this. No. All right, my friends. Okay. So remember, when it's to the power, it does not mean, oh, oops, does not mean. Two times four, we have to times two four times. So we have, remember, exponents would be first in this when we're doing PEMDAS. Two times two times, don't worry, Mrs. Plank wants to walk over here or roll over there. Two times two times two times two. So I'm going to do the first two times two first. So two times two equals four times two equals eight times one more two equals 16 plus 19. Nine plus six is 15. Five, carry my one. 35. Mrs. Kneifel got the answer of 35. Show me your boards. Give me thumbs up. Show me how you did. Remember, it's okay if you didn't get it right. The point is, the point is that you know where you made your mistake. That is what is important. We need to know where we're making our mistakes. Okay. So two to the power of four is two times two, which is four times two, which is eight times two, which is 16. Okay. So two to the power of three is eight, but two to the power of four is 16. All right. New problem. 10 to the second power plus parentheses four times five. Yes. There, is that better?
All right. So when we're doing 10 to the power of anything, it should be simple. Well, not simple, but it. Um, we know we just use that little trick, 10 times 10, or you can just know it's oop, two zero, so it's 100 plus 20 because 4 times 5 is 20, which equals 120. Fabulous. I see lots of right answers. Wrong one. Six times four plus eight times five plus nine times four. So, parentheses first, working right or left to right. So, first one is 6 times 4 equals 24, right? 24 plus 4 times 5, which is 40, plus 36. Now we're going to add it up. Oh, my gosh, I'm dropping my marker. Mrs. Kneifel is just hot mess today, okay? I'm sorry. 24 plus 40 is 64 plus 36. Man, Mrs. Kniple is so good at making things work out nice. I didn't even know this was going to equal 100, but look, it equals 100. Go, Mrs. Kniple, for making up that problem. So it is a 100. It is, oh, it is 100. If you got it right, thumbs up. If you didn't get it right, just where'd you make your mistakes? Hopefully next time you can get it right. New problem. Okay, 100 divided by 4 plus 7. 100 divided by 4 plus 7.
So 100 divided by four, if you know anything about money, you know that 100 can be broken into four by 25 because quarters. But if you didn't know that, no big deal. You can actually work it out. Four goes into one, zero times. It goes into 10, two times. Uh, then it's eight minus two, bring down the zero. Four divided by 20 is five. So then we have 25 plus seven. 32, oh, 32. How do we do, peeps? If you did not get it right, do you know where or why you didn't get it right? Mrs. Kneipel's computer is going to die soon. I'm just kidding. I got 37 minutes. We got this. All right, next, next, next. Okay, it's a long one. 56 divided by 2 times 2 plus 4. There's parentheses with the first part. God bless you. God bless you. go over this together. Remember, if you didn't get it right, didn't get to finish it, it's okay. So if you need another marker, I definitely have some. I can get some to you. So anytime you have an even number divided by two, we know it's going to work out. So 56 divided by two, Mrs. Kneifel doesn't know in her head. So she's going to have to work it out. Two divided by five is two, which is four. Bring down the one, bring down the six. Two goes into 16 eight times. So now we have 28 times two plus four. Next, we have to do the multiplication, 28 times two. And you can do times two, or you could just add 28 plus 28, because that would be the same thing. And I get 56 plus four, which equals 60. The answer is 60. Looks like we got some right answers, which is fabulous. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. 
Great job. Um, what? No, I haven't changed it. Um, sorry, what's next? Okay. The long one. Bracket eight plus parentheses nine times two, bracket times three. Okay. All right. 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 So we have to do everything in the bracket before we do things outside of the bracket, but we have to do the parentheses first. So nine times two is 18 plus eight, which is now left in the bracket times three. 18 plus eight is 26 times three. I don't know that I might by my head, so I have to work it out. So six times three is 18. The count of my one, six, seven. The answer is 78. Seventy-eight is the answer. Isaac, your multiplication was off. All right, guys. So you guys did super fabulous today. Go you. Um we are just about going to end it there today. Next week, we might do something different besides just working together on a whiteboard. Although I like to work together on a whiteboard, I think it's helpful just to go slow and things like that. But you guys did really, really great. I'm going to call this to an end. If you have a few extra minutes before your next class starts, you can go on multiplication.com. Always practice your multiplication facts or something like that. But you guys did do a fabulous job. If you missed part of it, I am going to post the recording. Thank you very much. Good, 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 good job, peeps. Good job.